Shooting by Zanthi van der Waal. It's Latin night at Pulse Club and it's full of people from all backgrounds, young and old, straight and gay, all getting along in perfect harmony. It's 2.02 a.m. and the police receive a report saying a gunshot has been fired at Pulse. An off-duty officer is there and engages in a gun battle. The shooter goes back inside the club and more shots are fired. It's 2.04 a.m. and additional officers arrive and enter the club four minutes later and have a shoot-off with the attacker. It's 2.09 and the club posts a warning on their Facebook. Get out of Pulse and keep running. At 2.18 a SWAT team is called to the site. At 2.35 a.m. the shooter made a call to 911. I want to let you know, I'm in Orlando and I did the shootings. What's your name? The operator asks. My name is is I pledge allegiance to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi of the Islamic State. At 2.48 a.m., gunman Omar Hamur Sadiq Matin spoke with crisis negotiators from Haiti Orlando Police. At 3.03 a.m., Matin had a second conversation with police and a third at 3.24 a.m. He identified himself as an Islamic soldier and threatened to set off explosives, including a car bomb and suicide vests. At 3.58 a.m., the Orlando Police Department's Twitter account warns residents to stay away from the area. At 4.21 a.m., police clear away for the people still trapped inside the club to escape by removing an air conditioning unit from a dressing room window. As people were being rescued, they told police that the shooter had made threats to put bomb vests on four people within 15 minutes. At 5.02 a.m., a SWAT team in the Orange County Sheriff's Office hazarded dis vice team began to breach the bathroom wall with explosive charge and armoured vehicle to make entry. When the wall was broken, people emerged and so did the shooter. Metin came out with two guns. He began shooting at police and they fired back. An officer was shot in the battle but saved from serious injury by his helmet. At 5.15, police reported that the shooter was down. At 5.33 a.m., a police tweet confirmed Mateen's death just before sunrise on a Sunday morning. Asteroid Belt by Riley Blahusiak. Deep in the Australian outback, there is a huge chunk of orangey brown rock and it is named Uluru. Very deep inside of Uluru, there is an ancient artifact known as the Asteroid Belt. The reason it is named that is because the buckle on the belt is made out of an asteroid that fell to Earth long ago. Legend tells that it has the incredible ability to make the wearer able to fly. Nobody has ever found it, though multiple expeditions have been sent out to find it. One person hopes to be the first, though. Clancy McWalker has something that is a machine that is made to pick up the asteroid belt. It is a mix between an x-ray machine and a metal detector. Clancy gets his wallet out of his pocket and looks how much money is inside. Oh yes, he thinks to himself, just enough for a flight. He gets his money out of his wallet and gives it to the man at the desk. Have a nice day, you hear me? Looks like you need it. Clancy looked down at his empty wallet and looked at the picture of the house he had to sell to get here. He had had a rough week, spending all his time working on a machine that could help him get the asteroid belt. Oh well, the money I'll make showing every, everyone my new flying trick will be more than enough for a new house. He boarded the plane and sat back. It will be a long flight to the middle of Australia. Two hours and 40 minutes later. Clancy opened his eyes and found himself in Alex, Alice Springs, Northern Territory, and the bright sun was beaming into his eyes. He staggered out the doors of the aeroplane and found his machine in the air-conditioned building off to the side. Excuse me, he asked the staff official, what is the quickest way to Uluru? Well, that would be the Ulura Airway, of course. The plane leaves in a couple of minutes, if you want, to catch it. Oh, no, I don't have any money. There's only $3. Clancy looks at the bottom of his wallet and finds some loose change and cuts it up. Oh, no, there's only $2.50. No. Just give me the money. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. 
50 minutes later. The plane touched down in Eulura and Clancy hopped out instantly, too excited to sleep. He pointed his machine at Uluru and there was a series of beeps. Clancy nodded in satisfaction as he pressed a button and a pick popped out of the gap of a gap in the casing. Sorry, Uluru, I might have to do some mining, he said as he started to tunnel into the rock. He had only tunneled a little bit when the pick broke into what felt like air. He hollowed out the tunnel a little more so that he could fit through. He fit through and saw to his amazement that there was a huge empty space in front of him. I can't believe it, Uluru is hollow. And then he saw something, and then he saw the thing hovering in the center of the hollow area. Clancy gasped. The asteroid belt. He ran at the belt and snatched it up and put it on. He then felt a weird feeling. Suddenly he emerged into blinding light and he blinked in surprise. He tried to work out what happened. Of course, the asteroid belt is making me fly, but I'm going too high. I'm going to space. Help! And he was going to space because the buckle of the belt was made of an asteroid and it wanted to go back up into space and it did and Clancy died. The end. Hello, I'm the reporter Inika Wharton, this week's weather reporter, and this is her assistant Hannah. Today is partly cloudy and there is a 5% chance that it will rain during the day. There is it is 15 degrees today which is quite warm compared to some of the other days we've had here in Perth. The sunrise today was at 7.16am and, and the sunset will be at 5.29pm. Tomorrow it will be partly cloudy. There is a 5% chance that it will rain during the day tomorrow. It is, it is going to be about 16 degrees tomorrow, so I'd say it, it's a good day to get outdoors while it's not raining. On Thursday, it is going to be breezy with late showers. On Friday, there are going to be showers. On Saturday, there are going to be showers. On Sunday, there is going to be a possible shower. And on Monday, there are going to be possible showers. Here's the maximum and minimum temperatures for the rest of the week. The maximum for Tuesday is 15 degrees, Wednesday 16 degrees, Thursday 18 degrees and Friday 19 degrees, Saturday 19 degrees, Sunday 19 degrees and Monday 17 degrees. The minimum temperatures for the week are Tuesday 3 degrees, Wednesday 3 degrees, Thursday 5 degrees, Friday 12 degrees, Sunday 13 degrees, Saturday 13 degrees and Monday 8 degrees. Here is the chance of rain and the amount of rain for the rest of the week. The chance of rain for Tuesday is 5%, Wednesday 5%, Thursday 30%, Friday 90%, Saturday 90%, Sunday 80% and Monday 80%. The amount of rain for Tuesday is 1 millimeter, Wednesday 1 millimeter, Thursday 1 millimeter, Friday 5 to 10 millimetres, Saturday 10 to 20 millimetres, Sunday 5 to 10, 10 millimetres, and Monday 1 to 5 millimetres. Thank you for listening to Perth Weather, weather, weather Report, and I hope you all have a good evening. I'm Hannah Goldschlager, yeah. and today I'm going to be reviewing Origin by Jessica Curry. Origin is a book set in the present with a jungle thing. It is about an immortal girl named Pia. She has never been outside of the grey fence that surrounds her. Then, her life changes when she sees a hole in the fence. She meets Eo, an Amazonian boy. Together, they discover more about themselves than anyone ever knew. The plot is very well developed, as it has many plot twists and keeps the reader hooked. This book is amazingly descriptive and makes you believe that you are really in the lush, vivid Amazon jungle. I was immediately interested when the book mentioned immortality. I would definitely recommend this book to others. It is an incredible read. The genre is science fiction and adventure. The characters felt real, as they were described as if the author was looking at them herself. This book is very original, as it has very little similarity to other books. The book has made me more aware of how precious life really is. And if we bend it to our will, it might just be the end of us, the human race. Now over to the newsroom.